It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be ordering absolute value expressions from least to greatest value. Here is our question today. We're asked to order the absolute value expressions from least to greatest value. So we go within four absolute value expressions, and we're going to reorder them from least to greatest. So go ahead and pause your video now, write it down on your paper, least to greatest, and then come back to check your work. Welcome back. So before we begin ordering, I want to make sure that everyone understands absolute value. So when we're finding the absolute value of something, by definition, it is the distance a number is from zero on a number line. When we talk about distance, especially on a number line, we're talking about a positive number of units away from zero. Think of it in your real world. If you're traveling or walking to the park or to a friend's house or to school, when you are home, if you are two miles away from that destination, when you get there, you're still, now you're two miles away from home. It doesn't become negative once you go from one place to another. You're always just two miles. So distance on the number line is the same way. It doesn't matter if you go two units to the right of zero or two units to the left of zero, you're still two units away from zero. And we designate that or represent that in math using absolute value symbols, which are these parallel lines. So let's evaluate each one so that we can correctly order them. So the absolute value of negative four is four. The absolute value of five fourths is five fourths. And for comparison's sake, we're going to rewrite this improper fraction to a mixed number. So four goes into five once with one left over. So one and one fourth is the mixed number that represents five fourths. The absolute value of one is one. The absolute value of negative two is two. Now we're ready to compare an order from least to greatest. So I can see that the least value here is one. When we answer, we're going to use our absolute value expression. So how the expressions were given to us is how we're going to reorder them. We wrote these just to be able to compare. So the absolute value of one is going to be our least value, and we can check that one off. So out of our three remaining numbers, I can see that one and one fourth is just a little bit greater than one, but it's less than two. So we're going to take five fourths and make it our second value. And now we have four and two. We know that two is less than four. So bringing down the absolute value of negative two, and then our greatest value is going to be the absolute value of negative four. And that is how we order from least to greatest when looking at absolute value expressions. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.